Hi everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my live streams on Calculus for Beginners. We're going to talk about some examples involving the absolute value and, and how to solve equations involving the absolute value. Now, in previous videos, we talked about the absolute value. It measures distance. And uh, I'm going to do two examples today for you. So um, let me just unpack that a little bit. So here in this um, thing, I've got some step-by-step -step solutions to solve this kind of problem. Okay, so there are two ways of solving it. You can solve it using algebra, or you can solve it using geometry. And it doesn't matter which way you pick, you always make x the subject at the end. Okay, so here A is a number, B is a positive number, and X is the, the thing you want to find. Okay, but before we get to this, what do these equations actually mean? Okay, well, let me give you a definite example here. Let's look at this, this example here. The abs solve for X, the absolute of X minus 2 equals 4. Okay, so what, what is this saying? This is saying, remember, the absolute value measures distance, okay? So they're saying, calculate all the x points that are exactly four units away from the number two. Okay, let me say that again. Calculate all the x values that are exactly four units away from the number two. So if I just draw in a little number line here, so I'll put in um, two on the number line, and I go four units that way. Okay. I'll get to six, right? And if I go four units that way, I'll get to negative two. So what numbers are exactly four units away from two? Well, six and negative two. So there's one solution, there's the other solution. Okay. So there are two solutions. So that was pretty easy, right? So up here, what this equation is telling you is, if you want to solve it, find all the x points that are exactly b units away from some point a. So in this case, b was 4 and, and a was 2. All right? So x equals negative 2 or 6. All right, so let's um, do it algebraically now. How do you solve these things algebraically? Now, we should get the same answer. Now, for the due to the properties of the uh, absolute value, I'm going to sort of form two things here. So let's call this star. Firstly, it, um, just remove the absolute values and keep everything the same. Then what you can do is change the sign on the right-hand side and keep everything else the same. This is has got to do with the properties of the absolute value function. And if you look at an earlier video, I, I speak about the absolute value function. So all I need to do is solve both of these equations. I'll get two values for x. And hopefully they agree with this thing down here. So if I add 2 to both sides, I get x equals 6. And if I take 2 away from both sides, oh, sorry, if I add 2, sorry, if I add 2 to both sides up there, I get that disappears, that goes to 6. If I add 2 to both sides there, that will disappear and that will go to negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2. Okay. So you can see these things are the same. So we are super happy about that. Okay, so let's do another one. This is a bit different now, right? The difference here is that you've got a 3 in front of the x here. So how does that change? And does that does it mean the same thing? Well, you can do, I'll do, do this one um, ge geometrically and algebraically. Okay, now one might be quicker than the other. It's totally up to you um, what you use. If you're more of a, a visual person, a geometric person, um, go with your strengths. If you're 
more of an algebra person, then the algebra is the way, way to go. All right, so I'm going to consider getting rid of that 3. So I'm going to divide every term by positive 3. And now what I can see, and I'll draw a little line down here. Now what I can see is that I'm looking for the x points that are exactly four thirds of a unit away from the point two thirds. Okay, so if I draw in my little number line here, I'll start at two thirds, I'll go four thirds that way, and I'll go four thirds that way. So where am I going to go? Two thirds plus four thirds, that's six thirds. So I'll end up at two. Two thirds minus four thirds, that's going to be negative two thirds. Okay, and zero would be in there somewhere. So just from this diagram, I can see I want that point and that point. Okay, so the solution is x equals negative two thirds or two. Okay, so let's do it algebraically now. Now, you, you can do that if you want to. You don't have to. What you can do is just basically keep the 3x there, change the sign on that, get two equations and solve them. And that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so let's call this star. So, we, so get rid of the absolute values, keep everything the same. And the second equation, change the sign on the on the number out here okay let me just squeeze that in okay so let's solve both of these equations so add two to both sides add two to both sides so negative four plus two equals negative two and now let's make x the subject so divide both sides by three And lo and behold, I get the same as what I have over there. So again, super happy. All right. Okay, so just to refresh everyone's memory. When you're given an equation like this, it means that you're looking for points, x points, that are exactly B units away from the point A. Okay, you can solve it geometrically or algebraically. In, in both cases, you want to make X the subject. Here, I divided the coefficient out of the X just to make it more geometrically apparent. But you should choose a method that, that you feel um, uh, comfortable with. Now there is another way of drawing this without the number line here, okay? You could, if you wanted to, sketch the absolute value of the graph x minus two in the xy plane, draw a horizontal line, y equals four, and see where they hit each other. But I'll leave that for you to do, okay? Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please join me for more videos in the future. The next idea we're going to look at is absolute values, but not equations. We're going to see what happens when we have an inequality sign there. All right. Thanks again, everyone. See you. Bye.